So I'm I'm just gonna go with a guy who got zero points last week. Let's do that. Oh, Let's go wow. Mike Gasecki. Okay. I, I think this is actually a great spot to get back on Gasecki. How many? Because realistically, how many tight ends are there outside of like Kelsey and Kittle this year who can get you 20 plus points? Gasecki has proven he is one of those guys. And yeah, he went 0 for 7 in targets last week. I mean, I don't even know how you don't catch one pass when you get targeted seven times, but he did it. But guess what, everybody? It's all sunshine and roses because he's facing the Jets this week. So uh, I, I think this is a really good spot. Again, this is a, a tight end who's gotten really consistent targeting all year. Uh, he's probably going to bounce back with a big game at some point. And again, we have the Jets on here who don't defend anything well, um, no matter what Kenny Ducey says. So I, I actually like going back to him. He's going to have really low ownership because his price hasn't dropped at all. And uh, he's just one of those players with a uh, very consistent 20-point upside. All righty, Steven. Tight end. Yeah, I you're going to get very excited here, but Dan Arnold at 4,100 yes! for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, look, this is somebody who has 24 targets over the last three weeks, and he's still 4,100. Like, his salary has gone up $600 since last week, but over that span of the last three weeks, at least 60 receiving yards. Hasn't scored yet, which is a little maddening seeing how many targets he's getting, but that is going to come at some point. And some of those points that he got in some tough matchups against tight ends like the Bills and the Colts, now he's going to match up against the 49ers, who not exactly an easy matchup, but if they're going to keep feeding him the ball, if I told you that someone has 24 targets over the last three weeks and he's under 5K, he's only 4,100, you'd probably be jumping all over that. So Dan Arnold, 4,100, that's the guy at tight end this week. I love that. I absolutely love that. Jeff was pointing out last week how amazing Dan Arnold has been. Low-key flying under the radar. Let's chill out. I can feel you rolling he's your eyes He's been like, there. okay. Pierce, go ahead. Tell me how amazing Dan Arnold is. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I got us covered for the obscure tight end number four. John Bates at 2,500. Ricky Seals-Jones went down last week. Bates played half the game, caught three of his three targets for 25 yards. Simply just a punt. But we know that Washington, I don't know if they necessarily love to throw to tight ends, but they throw to tight ends because there's no one to throw to outside of Terry McLaurin, and they can't complete passes. I mean, Heineke can't complete passes to uh, McLaurin because – Heineke is not accurate down the field. That's why we see these inflated tight end numbers from Logan Thomas, from Ricky Seals-Jones. We'll probably see another good week from John Bates if he gets in the field. you got to monitor the injury situation. But if you're looking for your tight end four punt of the week, it's going to be John Bates. 